just south of Colorado. Colorado. Yep, yep. So. It's very lovely here. It you is. run past a few canyons. Yep. So we're sort of coming out of the desert a little bit and we're getting into trees and grass, which is nice. Yeah, it was quick actually. I was kind of surprised. It's been like an hour. We're still in uh, New Mexico. I, I think. Yeah. Although it looks more like Nebraska. In Nebraska, Wyoming, maybe. Welcome it's, uh, to the middle of absolutely nowhere. <laughs> Where you can see the horizon because of how little there is. It's great. Give you guys a scale of what's out here. And I'm not killing as many bugs on my windshield here. Nothing. <laughs> keeps changing. The uh, scenery keeps changing very rapidly. Yeah. It looks like it's getting ready to change again up there. Yep. There's a lot of um, scrubby looking stuff up there. Yep. So anyway, that's the uh, the beauty of northern New Mexico. So we just crossed over in uh, Colorado. Colorado. Welcome to Colorado, everybody. On the Santa Fe Trail. Thank goodness we have uh, gone from being ridiculously flat to uh, having a little bit of uh, contours here. Yeah, we've got like cliff faces and falling rocks again. Yep. Yay. Drivers like myself appreciate it. And evidently in this state you have to stay in the right hand lane. Except to pass. Except to pass. So I can't tell yet if that person is breaking the law she's trying to decide if I'm going to go faster than her. Oh, there she goes. Not breaking the law. Anyway, welcome to Colorado again. Rado. Watch for fallen rocks and bears, please. Fallen rocks. Yep. Elk. Elk. Yeah. I saw a lot of elk signs already. I have a question. Why is all that dark? Don't know. Is Maybe it dirt? it's volcanic. Dirt. So <laughs> they say enchantment is yep. dirt. Dirt. Dirt can be enchanting, I suppose. Yeah. Things grow out of it. So it looks like it's going to be more of this for a while. Yep. Elk. Deer, actually. Oh, deer sign. Yep. Not an elk sign. Yep. They're, they're, they're mixing it up on us. I know. They're keeping you on your toes, Whisker. Ah. Uh, ah. <laughs> uh, that was good food. Yes. Yummy Mexican. Excellent, excellent Mexican food at yep. Tequila's. Correct. In uh, Trinidad? Yep, Colorado. Trinidad, Colorado. Yeah. And we have... Excellent little family restaurant. We have a mountain that's compensating for something. Right. Yep. And then we have... That. The Ant Hill This is the Ant great Hills. Ant Hill of Colorado. Right. I don't actually know if it's an Ant Hill, but... Your story is true, so that's what yep. it is. Isn't that weird. Really big ants. Really big ants. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Anyway, so our trip is taking us along the foothills, essentially, of uh, whatever these mountains are. The Rocky Mountains. I guess the Rockies. Yeah. And uh, we're going north, people. Up, up, that, up to that there state. All the way up. Like uh, the Dakotas. Yep. Yep. Point of interest, it says. It is a point of interest. It is Getting interesting. It. It is interesting. <laughs> it's a point. <laughs> interest. You heard it. 
So um, I'm wondering if, if this community could use a hacker space. Um, Have you seen a house yet? One. One? One house. I'm betting they're, they already hack a lot of things for themselves. So they're a hacker home. I think every house out here is a hacker space. They have to be. Yeah. Yeah. Population. I told you what, if I lived out here, I would put up solar panels and wind turbines and I would use them to run my air conditioner and water <laughs> pumps. Temperature wise, it's not too bad goodness. in the 60s. The sun is absolutely nuts though. Yeah. yeah. You get a nice tan. I guess. Nice farmer tan. So yeah, um, mountains on one side and nothing on the other. Correct. Heading north. So after like... 3,700 miles of driving, we finally hit our first traffic jam yep. between Colorado Springs and uh, uh, what is Denver? It? Denver. Yeah, Denver. Denver, Boulder area. And, and uh, yeah. But now we've cleared it, and now there are some really cool stone, mountainy things because we like our mountains because they're not flat. Yeah. Nothing. We're like 6,600 feet up here, something like that. Yeah. So we're actually up in the mountains. Yep. Um, yeah. It's quite nice up here. Yeah. Although it's kind of neat because if you look at the mountain area, you would think that that darker area stuff was like rock or something, but it's not. It's actually like dead shrubberies or something, you know. Yeah, the leaves haven't come in yet. Right. Which I kind of find weird because it's what, April? Well, we're I pretty mean, high up. Yeah. Seasons are a little bit different at altitude. Yeah. Anyway, quite nice. We've obviously gotten out of the desert. Uh, I'm hoping we get to go into mountainous areas because I saw that they require chains. Not that we'll have to put on any chains, but just like high mountain places. You miss the mountains already? Yeah. After going through Yosemite. Yeah. Well, Yosemite just can't be beat, so. Anyway. Alright, well, we'll check in when something happens. I don't know. <laughs> when we come across another mountain, I'm sure. We're driving, folks. <laughs> driving, driving. Uh, uh, somebody said we should stop by Spark Fun yep. on our way through here, but and, uh, they're not responding on Twitter at the moment. So we don't actually know if they're going to be open or... So, I don't know. We, we, if they respond to us on Twitter, we might stop. Uh, if they don't, we're just going to cruise on through. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Say hi to Wyoming tonight, so... Yeah, we'd like to be in Wyoming tonight, if at all possible. Yep. And that's, uh, if we stop, we probably won't make it. Right. So, yeah, we're going to get back to driving. We'll check in with you guys later. See ya. break the monotony, Addie has begun uh, stopping frequently to wash the windshield. I think she's lost it. She's getting pretty good at it though. I wonder if there'll be any blog posts about how to wash a window. So we crossed our path yesterday. Cheyenne. Yep, crossed 80 west. And, uh, well, we stayed in Cheyenne overnight. Yep, at Microtel, which. Microtel sucks, dude. Sucks. <laughs> it's a micro hotel. Microtel. Micro sized rooms, dude. Micro sized rooms, yeah. Oversized price. Yeah, it's the most expensive thus far at near $100 for one night. I love how they tuck the ranches on the back sides of the hills so that they're not as windy. Yeah. And I think a Quisker at one Tree point house. <laughs> at one point in a previous life was a ranch hand. No, I would would have been a hacienda owner. I see. Yeah. I'm yeah. high class, baby. I see. Well, either way, he he wants to buy a patch of land in Wyoming. Yeah, it's beautiful out here. Absolutely beautiful. You got mountains in the background. Rolling hills. And you can 
sea forever. Absolutely forever. I mean, how how can you not love that view? Well, maybe not the road, the billboard, but you know, if I were to buy a place out here, you could buy like a hundred thousand acres for three bucks. Because well, there's nothing out here. That. Absolutely nothing. It's beautiful. Just like cows standing around. They're like, yeah, this is my grass. There ain't much of it, but it's mine. <laughs> chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> Bug splatter. Yeah. yeah, there's even internet out here. Uh, 3G coverage is kind of spotty, but still most of the time it's up. Yeah. It Between is, that it is and nice. satellite, it's, probably do okay. It's a little less boring than Nebraska because of the rolling hills. Yeah, and the mountains out there too. Yeah, that helps. Yeah. Anyway, I, I like Wyoming. This is the second time we've driven through it now, and I think it's one of my favorites. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, San Francisco's great, but there's a lot of people there, and people can be annoying. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so nice beautiful. Nature. Anyway, there's not going to be much today, because we're doing Wyoming and South Dakota, so it's basically going to be a whole lot of this. Which I find highly enjoyable. But, uh, um, which most people might find highly boring. Highly boring. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to make good video, but I'm going to take some good pictures out here and see if I can make some uh, good panoramas out of it because the landscape is epic. Character so window. big. All right. Uh, we'll check in with you guys if we get into any like interesting terrain. I just can't get over how beautiful it is out here. <laughs> Welcome back to Wyoming. Yeah. It's very interesting because the colors are like this muted green, olive green palette. And so it's actually quite pleasant. And it, and it changes with every hill, really. So it makes for a pretty pleasant drive. Yeah. Other than the, the mass slaughter of bugs on the windshield. <laughs> having to clean the windshield every other gas stop. Yep, or at least when I find a squeegee station. We're keeping our eyes open for uh, late 30s pickup trucks out here. They're all Hattie wants over one. the place. And we've seen a whole bunch of them. I just don't know how to bring it back. Yeah, you'd have to pay somebody to haul it back. Yeah, and it's a while away from Minnesota. Well, we'll have to find one closer to home, I think. Yep. But at least we know they're still out there. Yeah. They, they uh, sprinkle the countryside old farm trucks. Yeah. I think it's going to be great when Eddie gets an old farm truck. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> anyway. Your conversion to a Midwesterner will be complete. With a truck? Yep girl that drives a truck. <laughs> short girl who drives a truck. Yep. It's usually short girls that drive trucks, actually. Really? Yeah. In my experience. Huh. As long as I don't need a telephone book, I'll be okay. Well, it's your truck. You get to redesign the seats however you want. Good point. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna give you guys a nice panoramic view here of this particular area of Wyoming. Absolutely gorgeous. We are nearing the end of Wyoming and entering into South Dakota. Aloha, South Dakota. That was inappropriate. <laughs> so, um, this will make 11 states. Yep. In uh, 11 days, days because nope. tomorrow's our 12th day. Oh, well, yeah, I guess that's So, true. 11 states in 11 days, and this is the last one uh, before we get back into Minnesota. Yep. We won't get back to Minnesota today, though. We still have another day of driving because, yep. you know, South Dakota's is big, and there's no way we can get across it today. Correct. It's uh, 530. Um, 
Minnesota time. I think that was, uh, yeah, the state line. Was it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so, I was, uh... I was expecting lights or something. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Ooh, Sturgis. Yeah, Sturgis is coming up here in a bit where the uh, toy run is. I've been to the other toy run in Sturgis, Michigan. What's the what's the toy run? Uh, a lot of motorcycles get together and uh, they all put toys on the back of their uh, motorcycles, uh -huh. and they donate all of the toys um, to kids in need. Now, if you have like a moped, can you join in? Probably not a good idea. Really? Because they go fast and loud. Well, mopeds can go fast, kind of. It's mostly like Harleys and stuff like that. I see. <laughs> you know, real motorcycles. <laughs> okay. So yeah, let's, let's take a look at uh, South Dakota. We're getting into the Black Hills, I think. Ah, that hill is kind of black. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the shadow of the uh, clouds, though. So yeah, this Quite is the, the 11th state, and uh, we're gonna get as much of it under our tires as we can today and then uh, when the sun goes down we'll pull off for the night and hopefully the hotel will be good. It's going to be our last hotel. As long as we don't choose Micro Hotel I think we'll be okay. Yeah, Micro Hotel sucked. Yep. We're going to bank on a Case Western or a Best Western. That's what it's called. I have no idea how uh, the, the landscape is going to be in South Dakota. So if there's anything interesting, we'll we'll update you guys. Yep. South Dakota at night. <laughs> We're on we the lookout them? for jackalopes. Jackalopes. Yeah. Did we show them South Dakota in the day? I A little forget. bit. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to South Dakota. At uh, 9:30 p.m., we are finally back in the Central Time Zone. Best Western, I'm watching for deer. Because yeah. I don't feel like hitting one at 80 miles an hour. Yeah. Whiskers a little scared. It's traumatizing. I'm flying through the blackness at the speed of light. I'm not going to jinx ourselves by saying anything about that, so. Advertising failed wall drug. I know we were you know, I was actually very tempted to see if it lived up to its hype, but Whisker rejected its advertising campaign. 
I did go and read its Wikipedia page, though. It's true. So you, they did work a little bit. Now I know the history of it. Right. And we're kind of sort of advertising here by talking about it, I guess. So maybe they actually... Uh, All right. I need to pay attention. Right. So we'll check in with you guys probably in the morning. Okay. Power line work ahead. Helicopters in use. Uh, that That'd sounds like so fun. so cool if we could see that. I'd like to catch that on video. That would be cool. Yep. Let's make that happen. Probably not going to though because it's Sunday. Oh, you're right. And that's the last that. day of our road trip. It is sad. We crossed over into Minnesota a little while ago. Welcome to Minnesota. So we're almost home. We just have to cross a very large state. Yep. But in the scale of what we've done lately, it's gonna just go by in a blink of an eye. I hope so. Just a couple of hours. Well, three or four, because they changed the speed limit here, and apparently Minnesota likes to be slower than just about every other state. So. Well, that's okay by me. I know, but you drive like a grandma. Yeah, well. So, let's see, we've got fields and silos and More stuff. Fields. I've never been to Western Minnesota, well, and I yeah, don't no, think I don't uh, Annie have. has either. Nope. I don't make house calls. It looks pretty much well, like some, what one would expect. <laughs> Lots of fields. This is the prairie after all. Yep. The Great Plains. Yep. Pretty Not boring. So this is... Uh, our final day, our final leg of the journey. Yep. I think we get one gas stop left and maybe some food. Yep. We're and trying then, to look for a Hardee's actually. Yeah. Whiskers been craving it for about three weeks now. <laughs> they don't have as many around as they used to. No, they don't. Or we pass them back by as soon as we finished eating somewhere. Which, well... I think that's the final checklist off of our our hopeful food list. Yep. We did pretty good. Yeah. We did pretty good. We did. Everything but uh, Chinatown cakes. Ugh. Ugh. Everything Sad. was closed in uh, San at Francisco. 8.30. Who in the world closes a bakery at 8.30 in the evening? Whatever, what, whatever happened to like uh, 24? You know, the 24 hour bakeries here. Huh? Huh? Anyway. Oh well. Next time. That'll be that'll be on the to-do list for the next time we uh, make it around. Yeah. Well, there's not gonna be much happening on this road. We know that. Yep. It might be at the end of the journey, we'll see. Yeah. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.